Hello, welcome to Golf News Special Roundtable on the Cricket World Cup. We've assembled an excellent group of journalists from around the Golf News studio to talk about the upcoming three games. Not a single one of them has any experience whatsoever in sports, so we'll just be winging it today. We have Alexander Cornwell, a business journalist. We have Shan Krishna, one of our senior editors. We have Nick Robinson from radio. We have Sujita Chadre, a senior reporter. We also have Jay Lenton, one of our senior video editors. The first question I'm going to put out to the panel is, what is a wicket and what makes it sticky? Nick? A wicket is an Ewok from the planet Endor. Uh, what makes it sticky? I think peanut butter. I have to disagree there. I'm pretty sure it was a brand of chewing gum that I grew up with. Isn't those things in the ground in the grass at night? This is a work of one. If you know a wicket, you don't be talking about cricket. So? Wicket. So wicket is the stumps. You see there are three stumps on either side. They are called wickets. And which is also sometimes called a wicket. How do each, well, each one of you know your team? Do you know them well? Personally, best friends. Best friends? I think so. All right, who's the captain of your team? And what is your team? Uh, New Zealand, and it's uh, Richie McCall. Okay. Jay? Well, uh, South Africa is a democracy, so we don't really have captains. It's not like pirate ship. You know, everyone kind of makes decisions collectively. I thought the Australians were the pirates. No, our captain is Michael Clark, but he might be retiring this week or have a back injury, so we're not too sure. I know that my captain is Mahindra Singh Dhoni because we see so many of his ads on television. So I know him from that. Sam, back to you. I'm a little like here, Nick and uh, Jay here. Your captain is uh, Brendan McCullum and your captain is A.P. De Villiers. You're right about Michael Clark, but he won't be retiring soon. But you always have a backup in Bailey there, so no, no worry. So that's how you're fine. Alex, there's been a lot, of re a lot of questions about reverse swings in this upcoming matches. Can you tell me what a reverse swing is? I think that's all about uh, Shane Warne and uh, how he's feeling on the day. He might have had a big night the night before, but that's where the, the real aggressive effort will come from him in the commentary box. All right, Nick? It's at the playground, you just sit backwards. Yeah, okay, uh, simply put, there is a natural swing to the ball. When the ball is new and shiny, it swings a particular way. But when the ball gets older, it's difficult to swing. So what they do is they use sweat and spittle to make one side heavier, so it swings the other way. So the ball swings exactly the opposite way it should swing, which is why it's called a road thing. It doesn't make any sense. All right, now, I'm not a, an expert on cricket. I've seen one game, but uh, I've been a baseball fan my entire life, so I consider myself, they're all kind of the same. Uh, can you tell me the major differences of why baseball is a better sport? Baseball is not a better sport, so the argument ends there. Okay, well, what makes cricket a better sport? Cricket is a better sport. You can see 90,000 people watching it simply because it's a better sport. Never seen baseball. <laughs> in, in Australia, we actually have a game called Aussie Rules, and it's played on the same field as the cricket, but that's a better sport. So, cricket is just a byproduct that we do in our off time in Australia. Who's going to be the top scorer of runs in this upcoming games? Uh, my money would be on Usain Bolt because I mean, he's the fastest runner there is, right? Martin Goldfish. Who's Martin Goldfish? Goldfish. No, <laughs> well, Guptil. Oh, Guptil. Yeah, Martin Guptil. That guy. Uh, I would put De Villiers. Now, who's that? He's the South African captain. A lot of talk about South Africa getting ready to choke in these upcoming games. What's your view on that? Well, I think that if they just really, you know, bear down, get their head in it, stay away from like small objects, small sweets, you know, just, just don't really put anything in your mouth that, that is a choking hazard, then you're going to get to that field and you're going to play a good game and you're going to do your best. Alex, what's your view on Australia? How will they do in these upcoming games? Well, it's a home ground advantage and uh, really New Zealand is a small part of Australia so uh, either way we'll be coming out on top. It's a 50-50 chance going into the final. How about New Zealand? Will that bring pride to Australia if they win? Look, it will be wet. The sport will be the winner on the day. Obviously, cricket is a big sport in India. How do you think India is going to do? The Indians are hoping to win the cup, but I really don't know because there's a good competition at all. So who's going to be the overall winner in this tournament? Who's your prediction? I honestly have no idea at all. I couldn't, uh, couldn't give you an educated guess if I wanted to, but I would safe to say that um, Australia's going to win, so probably New Zealand will come out on top. So did you? India. India. Jay? Well, you know, obviously I'm going to go with uh, South Africa, but you know, anything can happen on the day. And with all these choking hazards that you've been talking about, I'm just actually really worried for everyone at the moment. Nick? New Zealand. 
Uh, my money would be on South Africa simply because there's a much more balanced side. They've got a very good, bal very balanced uh, bowling attack and a decent, uh, decent uh, batsman too. So you're saying South Africa is going to win the Cricket World Cup? Absolutely. You're going to be very popular. All right, everyone, thank you for joining our special panel. And remember to watch the World Series when it happens this weekend. Thank you very much.